Hello everyone, um, I'm mainly making this video for someone on a forum, uh, he is having some problems installing VMware, uh, Mountain Lion on VMware, and I was going to show him exactly how I did it, because it was kind of annoying trying to figure it out for myself, so I figured I'd make a little video and make everything easy on everyone. So, first I launch VMware, and I'm going to do a, a new one just to, you know, start from scratch, just to show you how I did it. I went to File, New, and Continue Without Disk. Choose Disk Image. And for mine, my disk image is on my external hard drive. Open. Continue. And I chose personally this one. Uh, it worked for me, so, you know, I'm not really technic like tech savvy. Um, when it gets to the nitty gritty of things, I kind of just uh, trial and error, so that worked for me. Uh, finish, and I'm going to save it as Lion. Save. And it's going to install. Well, it's going to do this. And depending on whether or not this is actually going to go to the install process and whatever, I'm going to edit it, probably make it go faster so you don't have to bear with me through this whole thing. That would just be uh, mean of me to do. I also will be showing how to install VMware tools um, so you can get like the right screen resolution and all that good stuff um, without having the, uh, the kernel panic. Because some people, when you install the VM tools, or whatever you want to call them, the yeah, VMware tools, uh, it would kernel panic so you'd have to like redo the whole thing. It's really annoying, uh, but it's really easy to it really easy to fix. So I will be doing that um, as soon as this gets done. All right. So after uh, it loaded the DMG from that last point, I'm pretty sure I fast forwarded it because that took like 10 minutes. Um, you'll see this screen. So you just hit next. Uh, it's kind of like the standard installation screen. Um, I hit reinstall OS. Continue and continue. Agree. Agree to all this stuff because yes, you are a developer and I know you are. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways. So then it will do this installation process. Um, if you hear a few drama in the background, I apologize, but they just put the new ones on Netflix and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, it's going to do this. Uh, I'll speed this up and I'll show you what to do from here. Okay, just a quick note here. Uh, I will be stopping and then I'll fast forward because this is going to like take me to a whole other installation process, I'm pretty sure. Um, that part has done, has done installing. Um, and then it reboots and I will take you to the next phase with a super fast motion so you don't have to wait like I did. Alright, uh, after that last screen after, and after it rebooted, it's going to take you to this installation now and it will take about 21 minutes as it says and of course you won't have to wait for that but I will and I will fast forward it for you and I'll see you there okay so the installation is complete now and it's going to make you restart your computer just go ahead and hit restart and then there will be this whole long restarting process which of course again you will not have to wait for Okay, so, here we are at the welcome screen, all that good stuff, and we're going to go ahead to continue, US, if you're in the US, obviously, uh, transfer information, no, I'm going to skip this process, skip, uh, let's see, my name is Jonathan, my account name will be Jonathan, password will be secret, Okay. Okay, so continue. Continue. And it'll start setting up your, uh, your operating system. Why, thank you. Okay, so here you have um, Mountain Lion. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay. Uh, that's the problem without having VMware tools like um, things like that. They just get terrible. So, uh, so this is Lion. Okay. I don't. There's my friggin' taskbar. Okay. See all this stuff up here. Like here's notifications. Blah blah. blah. Uh, but it's really ugly, and you can't have the native resolution and all that crazy stuff that VMware tools offers. So, what you do, uh, first things first, is you go to here, sorry again, I'll make this bigger for the video. You have to enable root user. Because um, if you don't, you won't be able to get rid of and edit some files that you're going to have to edit and get rid of. Uh, it's very important that you do do those things. So, yeah. so I'm pretty sure you go to uh, core services. Yeah, okay, so I'll show you how I got here. So you go to your your HD system library, and you go to core services, and you are going to open up, which one is it? Sorry, I only did this yesterday. Uh, my first time, so kind of new to it. Let's see. Sorry, let me turn down the TV. Uh, directory utility. There we go. So you're gonna open that up, and you're going to go to edit and enable root user, and then you enter your password. You have to make a new password for the root user. Okay. Um. All right. Now you go to I think. Yeah. Okay. So. Exit that, and then go to log out, and you will log out of your uh, your current profile. And the other is the root user. Now the name is root, and the password is the password that you made up. Okay, and again, all this crap I just skipped. Um, you're welcome, Apple. Okay, so now here comes the important part. Um, you have to go to Virtual Machine and install VMware tools. And you hit install, yes, and say OK. And the installer should pop up on your screen. Um, Okay, I think that's what it is. Okay. So I think you have to go to VMware. There we go. Okay. I am retarded. Okay, so. Continue. And then continue. Install. Install. Good thing I can edit out. Edit out all of my mistakes. You won't even know I made them. It's awesome. Um, it's very important that when this finishes, you don't restart because that is what will give you kernel panic. Uh, there's still some a couple things that we have to do. Once it finishes, okay. So it says finished. Tells you to restart. Don't do it. Don't restart. Okay. Go to Finder. Go to uh, your Macintosh HD. I'm pretty sure it's the library. And then you're going to go down to uh, application support and VMware tools. And this is where you're going to delete some things. You're going to delete um, this, this VM and the K text, move it to the trash. And this VMMM E, whatever, this thing, move that to the trash as well. Okay, those are the only two things you're going to move to the trash. And then you're going to go to. I'm pretty sure it's this. Open this and see what it says. Yeah, okay. So you're going to open up services.sh. And you're going to scroll down a little bit until you see. 
couple of lines right here. These two lines, the KTEX load library application support VMware tools, this VMME, whatever KTEX, okay? Just go ahead and click on right here and enter a pound key. The pound key will edit that out. And right under it, the second line under it, hit another pound key and go ahead and hit save. And it'll save it. Okay. And exit that, you're good. Um, exit this, you're good. And then you can go ahead and restart. All right. Seems as if it is going to boot for me. Go ahead and select Jonathan. Enter your password. I don't care if you select your root user. Don't think it really matters. And here you will see it still looks the same, but uh, it's different because now you, when you go into settings, you can actually change the resolution. And I didn't show you it before, but you actually couldn't do it before. So I am sorry for, for not showing you that. Um, so you go here to display, show it off. Uh, bam, see, there we go. Um, also, I'd like to note just a I know I messed it up earlier. When you install VMware tools, you hit install. Okay, yes, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, it's going to show up in your finder right here. Uh, it didn't show up right now because I already have it installed, but it's going to show up over here. Uh, kind of messed that up earlier. But, anyways, um, that's it. And that's all you have to do. And have fun. Here's your notification center. Here's some reminders and some notes. Uh, yeah. And sorry, the video is a little sporadic. I'm making this at like 1 in the morning, as you can tell. I'm kind of tired. So, hope it helps you. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Thank you.